Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to understand some of the most important concepts behind the signed and unsigned numbers. So we will be actually trying to remove some of the confusions around these numbers. And I have already discussed what are unsigned and the signed numbers in one of my video. So you can check the link of that video in the description below or in the i button also if you have not seen that video. So let's start. So let's say you are given these four different type of binary numbers and you are asked a question that you have to categorize these four different binary numbers as unsigned number or the signed number. So you have to tell whether this first number is an unsigned number or a signed number. The same way you have to tell whether this second number that is 11001 is a signed number or an unsigned number. Okay. So actually with this only information you cannot tell that which number is signed or unsigned. Actually the information that is given to us is insufficient. By just seeing the binary representation of a number you cannot tell whether that number is an unsigned or a signed number. Okay. So this first number can be assigned or unsigned. Again all these four numbers they can be signed or unsigned also. So how we can categorize whether a particular binary number is a signed or unsigned number. So for this we should be explicitly told by the person who is asking us the question. He should be telling us that how we have to interpret a given binary number. Okay. So question is then what is the right way or the correct way to ask this question. So here you can see this is one of the right way or the correct way to ask this question. So here you are given these four binary numbers and you are asked that you can treat each number as the unsigned number. So you have to treat these four numbers as the unsigned numbers and you have to tell the decimal form of each of these binary numbers. Okay. So this is one of the correct way to ask such type of questions. Okay. So let's say this number is a unsigned number as we are given. Okay. And now we have to tell that what is the decimal representation of this unsigned number. So as I have told you in the unsigned and the signed number video that in unsigned number all the bits of the binary form they are used for the finding magnitude. There is no concept of the sign in case of unsigned number. Okay. And how you can convert a given binary number into a decimal number this I have already discussed in the number system video. You can check that video also. So if you have to convert this decimal number into binary number then you can simply use a short trick. So 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. You can use these rates. Okay. So in that way this is like 2. This is plus 1. So this 2 plus 1 it will be 3. So this number is actually 3 in your decimal form. Okay, and I have treated this number as a unsigned number. Now again treat this number as unsigned. Tell me what is this number in decimal form. So again this is having weight 1. This is 2, 4, 8, 16. So 16 plus 8, 24 plus 1, 25. Okay, the same way this number is 16 plus 8, 24 then 3, 27. Okay, so this number is 27. In the same way this number is 8 plus 4, 12. Okay. So this number is 12. So we have treated this all four numbers as the unsigned number and we have find the decimal form of this unsigned number. Now let's assume we are treating these numbers as the signed numbers. Okay. And again I have been asked that tell me what is the decimal form that I will get by interpreting these numbers as the signed numbers. Okay. So if you have seen my video on the unsigned and the signed number then in that video I have discussed one way to express a negative number that is sign magnitude representation. Okay. So according to that I will be dealing with these signed numbers. Okay. So this is the important thing that you have to take here. Now if I treat this number as the signed number that means the last bit in this signed number is treated or is reserved for the sign. Okay. And all the rest bit they will be helping me to find the magnitude or the value of that number. Okay. So this I have already discussed in that video. So, so magnitude of this binary number can be found from these four bits only. Okay. So this will be 2 plus 1. It will be 3. Okay. And this last 0 bit it is telling me that this is a positive number. Okay. So plus 3 or 3. These are one on the same thing. Okay. Now this will be telling me the magnitude 
and this one will be telling me that this number is actually a negative number. So whenever the last bit is zero, it means number is positive. One means the number is negative. Okay. So this one will be telling me that there will be a negative number. And what will be the magnitude? So magnitude will be like 1, 2, 4, 8. So it will be 8 plus 1, 9. So this is minus 9 if this number is treated as sine number. Okay. Now, what is this number? So this number is again a negative number. Okay. And this is 1, 2, 4, 8. That is 8 to 10 plus 1, 11. This is minus 11. Okay. Again, this number will be positive number because last sine bit is 0. So this is like a positive number and what is the magnitude? So this is 1, 2, 4, 8, that is 12. So this is 12 or you can say plus 12. Okay. So you can see from this all discussion that if this number and this number, they are treated as unsigned or the signed number, there is no difference in their decimal representation. You can see I'm getting 3 in both the representation or both decimal forms. Okay. So whenever a number or a binary number it is having the last bit or the sign bit as one then uh, there will be a difference if i am treating a particular number as a signed number or an unsigned number so when i treated this number as the unsigned number i am getting 25 but when that same number is treated as the signed number i am getting minus 9 okay the same way the difference lies here also so it is upon the user how we are interpreting or how that user is interpreting a given binary representation. So it means binary number has no such significance with respect to signed and unsigned. It is on the user how they are treating the binary numbers. Now third way to ask the questions on the signed and the unsigned number can be something like this. So here we are given some of the numbers, these four numbers in decimal form and we are asked that we have to convert these each of the decimal number in unsigned or the signed representation in binary form okay so it means this is 12 and we have to convert this 12 into the unsigned binary form okay and again we have to convert this 12 but into the signed binary form the same thing we have to do for 17 and the minus 10 okay so now this 12 is a decimal number and i have to tell that what will be the combination of the bits if this 12 is expressed as the unsigned number okay and here in the question i am told that i have to express each of the number in five bits only okay so i have written the weights of those bits like 1 2 4 8 16 these are uh, five bits okay so that it is easy for me to convert this decimal number to the binary number so how i can get this uh, binary form of this 12 so it will be 8 plus 4, 12. So this will be 0. Okay. And this 12 is an unsigned number. That means there is no concept of the sign. So I can represent this 12 in 4 bits also. But let's say if I have to express this in 5 bits, then I can just write 0 here. Okay. So this 0, double 1, 0, 0 is the binary form of this 12 if I am treating this 12 in an unsigned form. Okay. Again, I am treating this 12 but in a signed form. So in case of sign, the last bit is reserved for the sign. So here you can see this 12 is a positive number, right? This 12 plus is like implicitly written here. So the last bit will be zero. Okay. Now I have to tell what will be the remaining four bits. So as we have seen here that 12 can be formed from four bits in a safe way. Okay. So 8 plus 4, 12. Okay. So again, this 0, double 1, 0, 0 is the signed representation of this 12. Okay. So you can see that both representation are actually the same. Okay. Now 17, if I'm treating this as unsigned number, so how I can express? So unsigned form means all the five bits can be used for the number or for the magnitude. So 17 will be like 16 plus 1. So that means this is 16, this is plus 1 and all will be 0. Okay. Now the next number is minus 10. And I have to convert this number in a binary form, which will be a signed representation. That is signed binary representation. So you can see that this number is negative. That means the last bit is reserved for the sign because I am treating this number as the signed. And the negative number are actually 
are represented in sign form only because the sign numbers consist of the positive as well as the negative. So negative number will always be expressed as the sign number only. Okay, this is like by default also, but I have been explicitly told. Okay, so minus means I have to put one here. Okay, and now I have to represent the magnitude of this 10 using these four bits. Okay, so what is the magnitude of the 10? So it will be like 8 plus 2, 10. So this is 8, this is 2, 10 and all bits will be 0. So this is the binary representation of this minus 10. So in the similar way, if I have given these binary forms, okay, and I have been told that please and uh, treat this binary form as an unsigned number, give me the decimal number, you can get. And the same way, you can treat this number or this binary form as a sign and you can get minus 10, okay. And here, both these representation are same also. So if I have to reverse and if I have to get this uh, magnitude, then I will be actually getting 12 only, okay, because this uh, number is actually telling me that this number is positive and this is 12. Okay, so I will be getting this 12 also. Now there is one question that I want to ask you. If I have been given this one triple zero one, okay, and I have been asked, you have to treat this number as the signed number. Okay, see the question is, I have been given this binary representation one triple zero one, and I have been just told that please answer this number in decimal form what is the decimal representation of this and i am treating this number as the sign number then what will be the decimal form so you know in sign form you have to treat the last bit as the sign bit so that means your decimal form will be a negative number okay and all these four bits will be treated for the magnitude so this is actually the representation of the one so this will be minus one so now here one important thing that I am emphasizing is if you are given a binary number then it is up to the representation or the up to the treatment in which you are treating this binary number. If you are treating this binary number in this signed form you are getting minus 1. But if you treat this 1001 as the unsigned form then you will get a different decimal form. Okay. So it is upon the user how he wants to interpret a given binary representation okay so this you have to take care similarly if i express this number as the unsigned form then i will not be getting minus 10 all the five bits can be used for the magnitude so this is actually this last is 16 so this is actually 16 plus 10 this is actually 26 okay and this is positive 26 because i am treating all these bits as the unsigned representation okay so here it is 26 here it is minus 10 so again it is upon the user how he is treating the number so i think all this discussion has removed your confusion regarding the unsigned and the signed number and how you have to interpret the question okay so if you have any question comment suggestion please write down into the comment box and if you have not subscribed the channel please subscribe the channel you can find the complete playlist on the data representation and the number system in the video description below and you can find all the other videos on the number systems tools complement arithmetic operations on sign and sign number in that playlist so please check that out please do like and share this video see you in the next video till then goodbye